Hello and welcome to this demonstration of machine learning prototype to automate an ETL um, routine. Now what we can see here is in conjunction with Intel we have um, created a machine learning deep learning model using TensorFlow and Python and we're trading that on our Intel Skylake processor. Now the model is being trained here, it runs through a number of iterations above we can see the um, the model has a number of different layers and this piece is typically um, processor intensive so it's using a, a large amount of processing power and in this example we didn't need to use any GPUs we're using Intel Skylakes configured um, the correct way and as we can see here as we run through multiple iterations and then the data pass through here um, the accuracy of the model increases over time. Now to evaluate that model we're using something called SAP Analytics Cloud and what we can see here is um, the various columns of um, data we're trying to analyze and then the accuracy of predicting which column goes where. So we're trying to build an ETL model that's going to automatically identify data and know which one goes into which field. So what we can see here is the green line is the overall accuracy of our model or the F1 score and the blue bars are the volume of data that we have for each of the um, the columns. So we can see when there's no data on the left hand side the model's performing very badly but when we do have data and the model can actually perform very well. So this shows that we can potentially build ETL mappings using a machine learning approach. Now there are some instances here we can see we have two date fields and those we haven't built additional logic but it couldn't tell the difference between the two dates. Moving along on demonstration, we're using now SAP HANA, we're using the smart data integration piece within there to acquire new data. So when our data is changing, um, new data has been sent through by customers, we can automatically bring it through and we're using a concept here called remote tables. So we're reaching out to other systems, in this case it's a file adapter, file system, and bringing in some data. And here we can see a preview of how that data can look. Um, and what we can see is the data is not in one format. Different data formats, different column orders, different number of records. So it's very difficult for um, a typical ETL to do that. So that's why we've used machine learning. And finally, with the machine learning, what we've done with that is we hook up SAP HANA to call our machine learning model. So that we now have a trained model. That model has been trained. And firstly, we're identifying you know, what type of transaction it was. Within each of those um, rows we saw before, we have different types of data. So here we're trying to identify which one it is. And we can see it's an evaluated against four potential types of, of trade in this instance. And we can actually see this one is actually a swap. All the other ones are zero or a negative E number, so a very small number, whereas the swap is, say, 99% accurately going to be a swap. Here we can again do the same process but evaluating multiple records at once. So a, a batch, a bulk um, set of data that's sent through to our model. Again we're scoring the model to evaluate um, the new data that's coming in. So then we can then score it, we can build our ETL mapping um, happen ma automatically and to avoid the kind of manual work. 